Hey you guys, so I wasn't originally planning on filming today. I'm actually getting ready to go to a concert tonight. I'm going with my mom to see um, Steely Dan and Doobie Brothers, the Summer of Living Dangerously tour. My mom has been wanting to see them in concert again forever. She actually saw them way, way back a long time ago when they were first touring. Um, and when it was like nothing and they were just playing at bars and places like that. So um, she's really excited to go. And of course I told her I would go with her and have some fun. We love going to concerts together. And we haven't gotten to go to a concert together since I was in high school, actually. Yeah, high school. So my makeup and stuff was already done. And I was like, you know what? I have like an hour before I have to leave to go and meet her. So... I checked the mail and my Sephora play box came in for June, so I wanted to go ahead and unbox it for you guys real quick. So here's what we have. This is June 2018 and we have our Sephora play card. Now unfortunately it does look like you cannot use this one online. I think that was a one month only kind of thing they were doing which is pretty disappointing. So yet another play card I probably won't use. But let's see what this month's theme is. Does it say? Let me... Okay. It says, Welcome to the Beauty Boardwalk. So I'm guessing Boardwalk is the theme of this. And here's the bag. This is really cute. It has pink and blue neon and says hot, hot, hot on it with a cute little palm tree. I hope you guys can see it well. Um, I kind of have my lighting turned up really bright because again, it's cloudy and gross outside. I'm hoping that the clouds clear up for the concert tonight, but it's pink and oddly enough, my bag came open. Usually they're like pulled tight like this, but it was open and I think it's because it's actually really full. I think there's a lot in here because that's a pretty hefty bag. So let's see what's in here. Okay, first thing I see is a packet, which means we are most likely not getting a perfume sample because they've lately been either sending out packets or perfume samples as your kind of like extra sixth item. So what do we have? This is either Mirajo or Mirajo, depending on how it is pronounced. I'm guessing Mirajo. Um, hair care, nourishing, cleansing cream, and deep treatment butter. This almost looks like a, um, like a co-washing type thing, like a cleansing cream rather than a shampoo. And that has a deep treatment butter, which I will definitely try these. My hair, like I curled it today, but my hair is definitely much more naturally wavy now that I've chopped it off. So um, I've kind of been treating it with more products that are meant for curlier hair, and it's definitely been drying more wavy, which is really, really interesting to me. So I will definitely give this a shot. And I actually like that these packets, I don't know if you can hear it, but they're like a matte, um, they're made out of like a matte plastic rather than a shiny. So I think these are actually going to be easier to open in the shower, which I do like. Let's see. Okay, this is big. Ooh. Okay, Urban Decay. I have not tried this yet. This is the Quick Fix Hydro Charged Complexion Prep Priming Spray. I do love primers and I love anything I can get in a spray form because it's really, really quick. Like I love spray on moisturizers, things like this. It says it has niacinamide, coconut water, and cephalotonic M3, which I am not familiar with. It says it's vitamin B6 infused. It has vitamin E and willow bark in it. And it says it's a hydrating, soothing prep priming spray. It reduces the appearance of pores, brightens smooth skin, and replaces lost moisture. And can be used any time to refresh skin or at night before your skincare routine. So you can use this under and over your makeup, it looks like. And you guys, they sent us a really big sample of this. This is half a fluid ounce. Okay, this I really like. I love getting big samples that I can really try out the product for a few weeks because it's kind of what you need to do to see if you're really going to like a product. 
So yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I think I'm gonna try this next time I do my makeup. I don't think this is gonna get thrown in my drawer of uh, way too many primers. Plus, it looks really cute next to my mini all-nighter. And can I just say, when it comes to these samples, the sample sizes and quality that we get from Urban Decay in these four boxes are incredible. I love it. They do such a nice job. Let me see what else is in here. We have Cover FX. All right, this is their Power Play Foundation. It says long-wearing coverage with a mattified weightless finish. And this comes in the shade N20, which I'm hoping will be close to my skin tone because the last time I got a foundation in a Sephora Play Box, it was way too dark for me, like way, way, way too dark, even when like I'm tan. So let's see, here's our little sample. And that's actually, yeah, that's still a little dark and looks a little bit yellow for me but I'm not tan right now. I let myself tan like completely fade out. So it might work better when I'm a little bit more tan. Let me, I just want to swatch this on my hand real quick. Tiny bit. Let me see. Okay, actually it shears out pretty well. So it's not too far off from my skin tone. All right. I think that will be a, uh, a decent match. And it says long wear, pollution protection, airbrushed matte finish, and a weightless formula with medium to full buildable coverage. So I will definitely give that a shot. I typically tend to keep my foundation samples in a drawer. And then if I'm feeling like trying something different, then I'll grab it out that day. But I tend to have so many foundations and I have foundations that I like fall in love with and use constantly that I typically go for those like over the samples. But I definitely want to try this because Cover FX is excellent. Um, I'm actually not wearing any foundation today. I just have concealer under my eyes and then I spot concealed like all my breakouts just to give my skin a bit of a break because it's like my skin is not happy right now. I don't know what hasn't mad. I don't know whether the biotin vitamins I take has finally, uh, finally built up in my system enough that it's causing breakouts. I don't know if it's the weather. I don't know if it's the fact that I baked a giant cake last week and ate like half of it myself. I, I don't know. Um, anyway, back to what's in our bag. Next up is, all right, this is the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover for lids, lashes, and lips. All right, I would have preferred to try their Take the Day Off Balm. I've actually been wanting to try that a lot because this is one of those duo phase makeup removers where you have like the water and the oil and you mix it together. These tend to make my skin feel very greasy, very oily. Um, it's one of those makeup removers that I cannot wait to wash off. So I'll give it a try, but this will most likely end up in a drawer just in case I do run out of makeup remover or the oil-based makeup remover that I really love and use constantly from Japan. Then I might use this or if I'm traveling or something. All right, let's see what else is. Ooh, I'm dropping things today. Ooh, okay. This is from IGK, and I'm actually really starting to like their brand. I um, I have a sample of their Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel, and I really love using that in my hair now that I'm wearing it wavy more often. But this is their first class Charcoal Detox Dry Shampoo, and I go through a ton of dry shampoo. Like My hair is like 80% dry shampoo right now, even though I just washed it yesterday because it's hot, it's humid, and apparently the oil glands on my head have gone into overdrive. This says Deep Cleanse Level Detoxifying Oil Erasing and Scalp Soothing. It says this heavy duty dry shampoo lasts you go even longer between washes even after workouts. We'll see about that one. Charcoal powder lifts dirt and build up while absorbing oil and sweat. White tea powder soothes scalp and strengthens hair follicles. Perfect for oily scalps, fine, medium to thick, and coarse hair texture. All right. 
I am definitely excited to try this. I'm always looking for the next like great dry shampoo that I'm going to love. And hopefully I like this one. I think we have one more thing. I've been wanting to try this. Okay, so Coffee Break with Danny. If you don't follow her, she's amazing. She's so funny. Um, she has been recommending this cream forever. She buys it like two or three tubs at a time. It is the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. And she loves it. She raves about this cream. And I've been dying to try it, but it's expensive. It is really crazy expensive for a body cream. It has guarana extract in it, which is highly, highly caffeinated. So it's supposed to help smooth and tighten and kind of suck everything in and make your skin look amazing. And supposedly it smells really good. So I want to smell this first. Ooh. This smells I had an exfoliator from Tree Hut, and I think it was Brazil nut scented, and that's what this smells like. This smells so good. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to eat this, but I don't think that would be a good idea. <laughs> oh, that smells good. Um, but this is supposed to be amazing, and it's crazy expensive, but they sent us a pretty good size sample. It's... 0.84 fluid ounces in here. Yeah. I just want to put a little bit of this on the back of my hand. It feels very nice and lightweight. And it smooths out easy. It isn't thick like most body creams. It feels more like a lightweight lotion. I'm gonna have bugs all over me now. Like I'm I'm going to be covered in mosquitoes because of this. Mm, that smells amazing and that is absorbing really fast too. Okay, I cannot wait to try this like all over. I am so happy for this. Um, yeah, if I like this, I might look into getting a full size because I've been trying to find a lotion that I will actually use because I hate putting on body lotion. I absolutely hate it. Um, if I'm getting a massage, then I love body lotion. But if I'm actually like at the shower and I'm like, I have to put on body lotion and I don't want to. So typically, I just don't. So my skin isn't as soft as it could be. So I'm trying to find something that's really good quality that I will actually want to put on. So I will definitely be giving this a shot. All right, you guys, that is everything in our bag. So I'm just going to go over what we got really fast one more time. We got the Cover FX Power Play Foundation. We got the Urban Decay Quick Fix Prep Priming Spray. We got the Clinique Take the Day Off Makeup Remover. The IGK First Class Charcoal Dry Shampoo. We got the Marajo, I, I'm probably screwing that pronunciation up so bad. The Marajo Hair Care Nourishing Cleansing Cream and Deep Treatment Butter Sample. And the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian Boom Boom Cream. So that is everything we got. And actually, I'm really excited for everything and to try, well, almost everything. Probably my absolute favorite out of everything is like this and the prep priming spray. And then um, least favorite is probably this makeup remover just because I'm kind of like, eh, we'll see. All right, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm also really curious, what did you get in your Sephora Play boxes? Because I know they've probably got like 10 or 12 versions of the boxes now, depending on what you fill out in your profile. So let me know if you got anything different down below or if you got something you really loved or even something you really hated and you guys can also keep up with me on twitter instagram facebook and snapchat i'm pretty much everywhere and all the links for those are down below i also wanted to say hi to a bunch of new subscribers i've been getting a bunch of new subscribers lately i wanted to say hi to you guys and welcome to my channel and i am so so happy you're here thank you guys so so much for watching and i will see you again very very soon. Bye.